What's good everybody, it's Sean here, back today to give you guys a look at the Under Armour Embiid 1 in the Origin colorway. First off, I want to give a huge, huge thank you over to Under Armour Canada for sending me over this pair. The Embiid 1 is the all new and debut signature sneaker for NBA star Joel Embiid. It's been a while since we've seen a signature basketball sneaker for an NBA big man, and to me this was a welcome change and one that I was pretty excited for. So being a Toronto Raptor fan, we all know how most of us feel about Joel Embiid, but putting aside all his antics and all the things he says, even for us Raptor fans, we can't deny that he's still one of the best big men in the NBA right now. So this first colorway of his signature shoe pays homage to his roots. This origin colorway retails for 120 US dollars or $150 here in Canada, and the official colorway for this shoe is black and steel. So this is a true mid-cut basketball sneaker. The upper of the shoe is constructed using black mesh, but if you look closely, there's actually many layers of material. So while it's very flexible and pretty breathable, it's still gonna be strong enough to contain his foot. Surrounding the front toe cap, here we have this fuse overlay to give you additional durability. Probably the most striking design aspect of this shoe is on the lateral side. So here we have this TPU wing, which kind of looks like a flame, and this helps to contain the size of your foot, but the fact that it's still somewhat flexible and it's not completely rigid means that it's probably gonna accommodate your feet regardless of your width. On the medial side, there's one that's similar. However, this one is done in a much softer, almost fabric-like material. And instead of the flame colors, this is just simply done in black. Moving downwards, you can see there's additional fuse overlays towards the back heel. And then on the medial side near the back heel, we have the Under Armour logo. And this is done in this green color, which I'm guessing is a nod to the colors of the Cameroon flag, which is where Joel Embiid is from. Stitched on the center of the back heel, we have this nylon pull tab. And at the top, you'll see there's this black star graphic with a heart in the center. This is another nod to Cameroon and his love for his home. For the laces, these come with a flat style lace done in a combination of black and gray. And they intertwine through the center nylon strap, which is entirely done in black. And at the very top, we have the Joel Embiid logo, which is done in this bright crimson or hot pink color. Underneath this, the tongue itself is also constructed out of that same mesh that the body of the shoe was done in, and it's decently well padded, so you're not gonna feel any irritation from the laces. The tongue itself is also partially connected to the body of the shoe, creating more of a one-piece sock-like fit. The inner liner of these Embiid ones is lined in this black textile, and it's pretty well padded around this collar area. Taking out the insoles, these come with a black colored insole, and on the heel, there's a sort of radiating graphic, which is an artistic take of the shape of Africa. So the upper of these Embiid ones sits atop this foam midsole, which is entirely colored in gray. On the lateral side of the back heel, we have this large Under Armour logo. And for the most part, this midsole is constructed out of Under Armour's Micro G technology. You can see that signature dimpled look found throughout. And in addition to the Micro G, underneath the heel, they've also incorporated Under Armour hover foam. So this best of both worlds setup we've seen before on past Under Armour basketball shoes. Though to be honest, they weren't the most effectively done. Turning the shoe over to the bottom, so here we have your outsole, which is probably one of my favorite parts of this sneaker. On the forefoot, we have this radiating traction pattern that's based off of the outline of the United States. And you'll see cities names such as Philadelphia, which is of course the NBA city that he plays for, along with Kansas, which is where he played NCAA ball at. In the middle, we have the Under Armour logo done in green. And on the back heel, we have that radiating shape of Africa once again, along with cities such as Johannesburg, and I'm gonna totally butcher this, but Yaounde, which I believe is where Joel Embiid was born. The shape of Africa is actually translucent, so you can see the hover foam underneath, which was a really cool added touch. So that breaks down the look and the construction of this shoe. In terms of sizing, I'd say that these fit pretty well true to size, and they are very wide foot friendly as well. So I'm a true size 10, slightly on the wider side. Under Armour Canada sent me these guys in a size 10, and to me, they fit me perfectly, and they fit me very comfortably as well. This mesh upper isn't gonna be that sock-like, so don't expect the fit to be like a glove, but because of these side wings, you can really customize the fit and give you that lockdown that you're probably looking for. Next up, in terms of comfort, so I gotta tell you guys, because of the whole COVID-19 situation, I don't have any access to a basketball court, unfortunately, so I was only able to wear these in the gym. So obviously, my take on these will be very different from a true performance review, but with that said, the comfort on this pair was actually very good. It surprised me quite a bit because in the past when Under Armour has tried to incorporate Hover with Micro G together on a basketball shoe, let's just say it hasn't been the most effective. 
This pair, however, feels great out of the box. So first off, as I mentioned, there's no break in time required for the upper. And then in terms of the step in comfort, the Micro G feels great on feet. It's a good balance between softness and responsiveness and the heel area, which is where the hover foam is. There's a ton of impact protection right here. And to me, it felt really, really nice. One thing I noticed though that might be a concern when I'm rocking these on the court is that there was a little bit of instability from a side to side perspective. So I felt like there should have been more of an exaggerated outrigger on the lateral side because even just from wearing these in the gym and just walking around in them casually, there were moments where I felt like it was a little bit unstable and I could see myself rolling my foot, especially in a basketball setting. Last but not least, touching upon the quality and the craftsmanship on this pair, Overall, the materials weren't anything special. It felt pretty basic. There was nothing premium about this shoe, but I think that's perfectly fair considering the price point is very reasonable at 120 US or 150 Canadian. With all that said, now let's lace up these Embiid 1 Origins and I'll show you guys how these look on feet. Design-wise, being honest with you guys, I feel like it's a little bit lacking. I think it's a little bit too simple, and for a debut signature shoe for a star like Joel Embiid, I think that more risks could have been taken and more could have been done for the silhouette. With that said though, what we got wasn't bad. It definitely isn't a premium shoe, but if you're looking for a mid-priced basketball sneaker that you can take out of the box and play in right away, I think this is going to be a solid choice. As I said before, the comfort is definitely one of the strong points for this model, and I'm personally curious to see what future colorways they drop for the Embiid one. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this model. How do you feel about the design of this shoe? And if you're passing on this colorway, is it because you're just not feeling the entire look of the shoe, or is it just an issue of the colorway? If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Give me a follow on Instagram at esco8. Check out my Twitter at sean.go, and visit my website at seango.ca. So until next time, thanks so much for tuning in. Another huge thank you goes out to Under Armour Canada, and I'll catch you guys all in my next review.